Hi everyone, welcome to the Sidus Heroes channel. If you watch this video, you will want to know more about our metaverse. Today we will be talking about Sidus in general, what games are included in our metaverse, why we have two tokens and how to start playing our games. Ok, let's go! According to our lore, Sidus is a huge galactic station at the center of the metaverse. Nido Marina Battler is part of it and that's our first game. Other games, the real-time strategy offering Xena and the third-person shooter Tembazar are located on separate planets. We are also developing new games that will be released next year. We will talk about each game in more detail later, but for now we will discuss our tokens. Citizens of our metaverse use two tokens, Sidus and Senat. The first one is a regular in-game currency that you can get from Needum Battles. It's used for trade, investment and other ordinary needs. The Senate token is used as a governance token and it allows you to vote on changes that are important to the metaverse. But this token can also be used for investment and for trading like Sidus. Now that you have a little understanding of how things operate in Sidus Heroes, let's talk about the games in more detail. Let's begin with Needham, Sin City at the heart of Sidus. As stated earlier, Needham is a part of the Galactic Central Station. It's a place where creatures of different races meet, but the most interesting part of Needham is the battle arena. In it, combatants fight for resources and glory, and you can play as one of them. Firstly, you need at least one NFT hero card, which can be bought on OpenSea or from right inside the game. The cards differ from each other in their rarity. The value of the resources you receive for victories depends on the rarity of your cards. I'm stronger, I'm smarter, I'm better! I am better! Fights in Needham are 1 against 1, 2 against 2 and 3 against 3. The more heroes you have, the more resources you will acquire if you win. After purchasing a card, you will need to select your fighter's race. There are 3 races on Needham, Reptorian, Ogia and Voltron. Each race has its strong and weak points. You can also combine your fighters and use different tactics to win. Ok, you have one or several characters, what's next? You can start to fight or buy something that will increase your chances of winning. Our store and marketplace offer a wide variety of armor, weapons and gadgets for powering up your fighters. After making your purchases, you are ready for your first fight. The combat itself is a turn-based battle in which you can attack the enemy with a normal attack or with weapons, use gadgets or skip a turn to accumulate more energy. You can also trick your opponent with a bluff, luring them into spending all their energy without harming you. After the fight, you will receive some resources. You can sell them in the marketplace or invest them in modules. It's time to talk about one of the main components of our project, the module economy. Each new building on Needham, the store, the marketplace, the bank and so on, is built with the participation of players. We call this modules. Launching a new module with new functionality requires players' investment. Players can invest resources and tokens, granting them contribution points. The more contribution points you have, the more of the module you own. After the construction is completed, players spend money in the module and part of this money goes to the players who own a share of the module. Thus, it's much more profitable to invest tokens and resources than to sell them. The module economy will be in all our games, so the sooner you join, the more passive income you can generate. It should be noted that 50% of the tokens invested in modules are burned at the beginning of every month. This ensures the sustainability of the project's economics, which is very important to us. Ok, let me introduce you to our second project, the real-time strategy game Xena. Xena is an abundant planet with huge reserves of raw oil that's used for space travel. Conditions on the surface of the planet are very harsh, and the Xenians, the indigenous race on the planet, do not stand there on their own. They extract the oil with the help of robots. Players here have to control armies of robots to capture enemy buildings and win battles. You can choose different bots, each with their own advantages and unique abilities. The rarer your robot, the rarer the resources you receive for winning. To win more often, you can upgrade your robots and their abilities. Try different tactics and you will succeed. In a separate but related matter, we need to talk about tournaments. Every day there are tournaments in which you can get new robot parts and tickets to future events. If in regular battles you can meet bots, here you will face only real players. Therefore, this is the most interesting mode. Major events take place in the game from time to time. Through this, you can earn real money without making an investment. 
follow the latest news from the project so you don't miss a thing. Important note, you do not need to purchase any NFTs to start playing Xena. You can download the game from our website or if using a phone from the mobile store for free. Start playing today to get as many bonuses as possible. Our third game is a browser shooter called Tembazar. Tembazar is a planet where valuable artifacts from the past are hidden, hence the reason for Tembian avatars fighting. The most active and action-packed battles take place here. You, as a player, control a separate robot that fights in the arena with enemies. You can use different weapons and skills to win. Tembazar can be played in one against one mode or in team mode with friends or random allies. The big advantage of Tembazar is that it can be played inside the browser. You don't need a super powerful computer to run the game. This will make Tembazar as adaptable as possible to most players around the world. Now you know much more about our metaverse. We will tell you more about each of the games in the following videos, so subscribe to get these important pieces of information. See you soon in the Sidus Metaverse. Bye for now.